Welcome to another edition of Club Raymond Spotlight. We're here at Porsche West Palm Beach. We're CDC compliant. I'm here with my pal Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio. How you doing, Larry? Danny, Danny boy. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? What, 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 what are we doing? Season one, episode 12. Basically our final episode for the season. So uh, tell us what do we got on the uh, uh, it's agenda It's a great tonight. show. Uh, what's going on with the downtown West Palm Beach trolleys? We'll be coming to that. And we'll be also going to Latitude 26, really five-star restaurant in West Palm Beach. And I've got an alternative, a change, how you do your dry cleaning. And we got a pre-COVID surprise, a flashback to comedy nights oh, with uh, Club Raymond Theater. Those were the days. So before we go uh, and go crazy on all this, let's go straight to Molly's Trolleys and let's check out what they've got going. Danny Baird for Spotlight on location with John Critchett and Paget Kirkland. We've been CDC compliant here, so we've already talked about this. Okay to take these off? Yeah. Please. We are at Molly's Trolleys for an edition of Club Bremen Spotlight. Very interesting people, so we're just going to get right to it. John, tell me about this uh, lovely wife of yours, <laughs> how you guys got together, how Paget is all fixing into this equation, and you tell us. Perfect. Well, I started in the uh, limousine industry in 95. I was on a program doing corporate event work one day, and I met this beautiful young lady there, and she was working a program for a destination management company. And so they put the uh, programs together. And we met, we liked each other, we started see, anyways, we, we started dating, we got married in 2000. And in 99, we, before we got married, I started Palm Beach Tours and Transportation with a one van working out of the house. And in 2006, Paget started her own company, Kirkland Event Destination Services. By 2017, we purchased an existing company, Molly's Trolleys. Event destinations, transportation, one van to how many today? Currently, we have 44. 44, that's 4,400% increase, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, Paget, what do you do in this event uh, business that you have, and, and especially during these trying times? So, John does the non-glamorous stuff. I do the fun stuff. Where I'm a corporate event planner. We also have now started doing social events. Um, we're managing a great venue downtown West Palm Beach. Um, so we have groups that come into uh, Palm Beach County and we will do their transportation tours and activities, on-site team building, off-property evening dinners, all the fun stuff. So tell me about this event planning. How far in advance normally? How large are these events? What do you guys do? We do anything from two people to 2,000 people. And funny enough today, I had a client today ask me for a, a menu for 2023. Uh -huh. So we're already working on menus wow. for 2023 and down to that minutia detail, but we are looking forward to getting our industry back and traveling and, and it's resilient and so I know it will. Well, I got to tell you, it's been a tough time for the transportation business, the event business, but I see you guys are really gung-ho, you guys are optimistic. What's the plans for 2021? 2021 is going to be a, a build back, I hope, a build back year for us. Uh, get back on our feet. We've been really hurt terribly, but we're very optimistic we're going to pu pull it back. A lot of our con uh, clients are rooting for us and they're going to still be there for us and so we're going to be back on our feet stronger than uh, than ever I think eventually. As a matter of fact, Padgett, you've got a group coming in shortly, don't you? Yep, um, we actually had the pre-con with them today at, the, uh, at one of the Palm Beach hotels and um, we're starting to operate and bring all the people in. We've made masks for everybody, um, doing everything socially distanced and we're actually building a bridge over their pool so we can expand the uh, footprint of the event. Fabulous. Fun stuff. Well listen, this is uh, so incredibly important to Palm Beach County, I'm sure. And of what I understand, you're still kind of like furloughed in terms of the transportation and the trolleys, but you're working with the city. Yes, the city just a week ago approved to restart. They haven't given us a date yet. We expect it's going to be within a week or two. Some of the construction down in Clematis has thrown us off and those kinds of things too. Now, I understand that you guys are still very active with uh, parties, weddings, uh, that. So tell us, if one of our listeners here wants to get involved with a trolley to get them at their party, what can you offer? Well, trolleys have always been a, a fun type of transportation to get on. Everybody gets on a trolley and they just automatically have fun. And this year we purchased in February this one we're standing on right now. We call it our wedding trolley. 
We had it painted white. It's got a back porch here for brides to get their pictures taken, etc. And it's laid out like a limousine with special seating and, and sound systems, etc. So it's a little bit different from the wooden seats and what you have on a regular trolley. So as you can see on the screen, it is absolutely gorgeous in here. Very comfortable. I'll be an attestment to that. And Paige, tell us where you use these trolleys with your events. Well, funny enough, we're using it with this group that we just mentioned. They're going to be taking a historical tour of Palm Beach, and they wanted to do it kind of the old-fashioned way in trolleys. We're, we're using those uh, next week. Tell us some of the points the of interest in Palm Beach. Well, we'll be uh, stopping by Flagler Museum and just going by the gorgeous homes in, in Palm Beach um, on the island, Mar-a-Lago and, you know, a lot of those homes. So, yep. Well, John and Paget are Club Brayman members with an 8 Series, and how did you get the 8 Series? <laughs> whose, whose choice was it? Mine. <laughs> I, I, I knew you were the yeah, uh, roadster yeah. in the yeah. group here. Well, and of course, doing what I do, I have to be only seen in a, in a BMW, you know, being along the island uh, crew. So um, I actually had a 330 a long time ago, and one of your sales team told me to test drive the 650. Uh -huh. And I was like, no, I can't drive the 650. And he's like, just test drive it. I went home with it the same day. So, <laughs> and then uh, John talked me into another vehicle. Another brand. No, yeah, another <laughs> brand and got rid of that car very quickly and went uh -huh. back to the 8, 8 Series and absolutely love it. Well, you know, once you're a BMW owner, there's a certain feel, yep. a certain way that it drives. You can never go back. Absolutely. <laughs> well, listen, You've got to book a Molly's Trolley's adventure of your own, okay? Make sure, you, we're going to put it on the screen for you so you can get the exact website location, the phone numbers to call, and I'm having a great time here. I'm going to go back into the trolley, relax, enjoy with John and Paget. Thank you so much, and it's been uh, really a pleasure sharing this all with you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Well, you know, Danny, I miss seeing those trolleys around downtown. And apparently a decision by the city is still pending upon the return. But in the meantime, we can utilize the services of Palm Beach Transportation. If you need a limousine going to and from the airport or any other needs, weddings, etc., they're still open for business. They got you covered. Perfect. At the end of the show, we'll tell you how to win one of 20 prizes from Brayman Motor Cars. Larry, let's start talking about this uh, great restaurant that's right down the block from the Norton Museum on Dixie Highway. I guess the assignment was mixed up this week, Danny. Uh, sounds magnificent. Well, I had to grab a, I had to grab a burrito off of a food truck. Oh well, wait till you see what I had to eat. <laughs> I can't imagine. To my benefit, they are absolutely fabulous. Let's take a look at this restaurant right in downtown West Palm Beach. Danny Bayard here with Club Brayman Spotlight. I'm at Table 26, one of the absolute best restaurants in Palm Beach County. I'm here with my newfound pal, Eddie. We've already discussed Hello, this. Danny. We're CDC compliant, six feet apart. The whole works. We're Mass doing off, it. what do you say? A little strip tease, there we go. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm kind of an insider because I've already tasted the food. Thank you. I love your restaurant. What is the golden formula? Wow passion, commitment, dedication, patience, love, teamwork, the list goes on. Uh, you know, we're very lucky. Table 26 is celebrated eight and a half years as of May 28th. And we were right in the midst of a great season and going into our eighth year and Come March bang. 17th hit. But right. I understand that you have more or less flourished? Yes. Uh, what an opportunity. You know, we all, as I said to you early, Danny, we, we uh, had time of fear, right? We didn't know what this was about but we regrouped, we came together uh, as a team. We had the difficulty of laying off 64 team members because we're open for lunch and brunch and happy hour and dinner. We did many private events. We had 38 private events in the month of uh, March and April, which all canceled obviously during this COVID-19 crisis, uh, but we came together. Um, and really finding the right team is part of that success. People that understand your brand, your philosophy, your mission, no different than Brayman, right? Well, you know, in talking to you, you've got this optimism uh, of Palm Beach County, of Florida, uh, optimism for your restaurant, and, and I could see it's a team effort by sure. all the staff that's here. What energizes them? Well, you know, uh, when, when you say that, I first, I, I want to get emotional about it because um, it, it, it's really our family. When we interview someone, they go through every single manager. They interview with the team, finding that right person that we set that brand. Um, Ozzy and I, um, 
personally have been together over 25 years. Um, we set this family setting. This is our home. We live a mile away. Uh, we believe in Palm Beach and Palm Beach County. Uh, we support the community philanthropically with many small charities. Um, but finding those people that are going to join our team, they're not just entering a team, they're entering a family. And again, no different than the Brayman family. With very high standards of what I say. Very high standards. Table 26, if I can yes. ask. Where did the name come from? Sure. Uh, it is my age. <laughs> Table, I wish, I wish. Well, Those were the days. Uh, I would love to go back to that. But with the brain that we have today, right, and the knowledge, uh, Table 26 is for the latitude of Palm Beach. Okay. And so hence our location. Uh, when you look at our handcrafted cocktail menu, we have names of drinks that represent Henry Flagler, one of our founders here at Palm Beach County and Palm Beach, um, El Cid, Prospect Park, the Nort Museum. So we name historical places um, or people that relate to the latitude of Palm Beach. Um, our philosophy is we proceed and grow forward and, and plan other future locations, that latitude would change. So if we're up in New York, it'd be Table 40 in New York, mm -hmm. giving different examples. So uh, nestled in Palm Beach County, uh, the, right now we're showing some photos of the ceiling, which is kind of cool. Sure, yes. Uh, but uh, tell us what your future plans are in terms of 2021, how you see this going in the restaurant business. Absolutely. And you're, you're not, I'm not going to call it luck. You've, you've stepped up to the game Absolutely. and you've taken hold of it. What do you see for Table 26? Well, you know, first of all, we're very blessed that we're successful, but success happens through hard work and committed team members. Um, what we see, we're, I'm so eager for New Year's Eve and toasting. You know, I relate to 2020 like a 13th floor of apartment building or an office building. I like to skip that floor and go on to the 14th, and my team's eager for that as well. Uh, what we foresee first is safety and health of our, all of our guests and team members. That's what we see going into 2020. But what we still is always what we've always done, excellent service, a safe, healthy, beautiful environment, and consistent, great quality food. Eddie, tell me about business. Like, for example, last Saturday night. Absolutely, what an amazing night. You know, we've added a tent to the North parking lot to keep everyone socially distant. And we did 211 covers. Here we are in the middle of COVID. Excuse me, 211, 211 people covers. actually ate here. Absolutely. Socially distant. Seems like uh, a no, lot. No, I can see that. The yes. tables are socially uh, distant. What we are experiencing is smaller groups. A lot of uh -huh. people just couples or another couple with friends. So the larger groups have sort of shrunk down. So we're able to turn a little faster. People are very respectful of the times that we've allocated them. Uh, it's been wonderful. It's I been noticed truly that your valet wonderful. parkers have their own masks on and everything. Absolutely. Valet, valet gloves. Parking. We do in-house house delivery and uh -huh. so that's done safe uh, curbside pickup it's been very important so that people can still experience what we can offer at table 26 to their home uh, and you know chef Marta chef Armando and our team they've been full force uh, delivering that food and and keeping the menu simple so it can transport uh, to home in the same way they would having here to here. Speaking of transportation, I noticed that BMW of yours. Oh, in the that lot. BMW. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> love our BMW. It's sitting out there all polished and shiny. Ozzy had it washed this morning, but it's actually our third one. Uh -huh. And so we love the relationship that we have. I believe it's with John over at Brayman and all of you. And it's, uh, it's one of, it's actually Ozzy's car. Uh, he loves to drive that consistently, but we have to fight over it when I, I can get a chance. Uh -huh. But he is, uh, he loves that baby. It's well, listen, his. it's great to have you as Thank a Club Raymond member. And Club Raymond members, Ozzy's car, really. I see yeah. him in this car all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> Eddie's going to cook up. We're going to go into the kitchen. He's going to cook up a special meal. What are you cooking up today? Sure, zucchini pasta. You know, everyone's been eating all this mm -hmm. food in the last 10 months. So we thought about something healthy. So our chef Armando's in the kitchen, ready to prepare that dish for you. Zucchini pasta. Let's go to the kitchen. Check it out. Hello, my name is Armando. I'm the kitchen manager, so today I'm going to show you guys how we do one of our uh, vegetarian dishes. So it's our, um, which is our um, zucchini pasta. So let's, let's start it. So first, throw the oil. You gotta make sure the pan is hot. Add some fresh garlic, fresh shallots. Got mm. a fresh pasta. Fresh uh, basil pesto. Salt. Some fresh crushed pepper. Mm -hmm. 
roasted pine nuts on top. Some roasted cherry tomatoes. You can also add some protein. We have the option of shrimp or chicken. Okay, so we're back uh, from the kitchen, and I think Armando is bringing something special. Yeah, I want you, Chef Eddie, to Armando. explain me. Look Thank at, you, Chef oh, Armando. Oh, my God. This is well, our... First of all, wait yes. a minute. Uh, Presentation is everything. Let my eyes take a look at this Thank you. Thing. Please do. Please do. Look at the colors. Yeah, the colors are great. With Guys, the get a close-up on Heirloom this, tomatoes and the fresh zucchini and the microgreens and the shaved Parmesan and the garlic and the olive oil and the pesto. This is, you know, when we're adding something to our menu, we really wanted a diverse menu, right? Uh -huh. We have meatloaf and fried chicken and roasted chicken and many different things, our steak Thai salad. But Chef Marta wanted something for vegetarians. But you can also add shrimp or blackened chicken to this. Mm. And so to give a protein. So this is our zucchini pasta. You notice that they, my hands are fidgeting. They are, the I know you're I ready to, to, to dive into that. Sorry. But please give it a taste. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of our most popular dishes. All right, so we've all been quarantined and eating a lot. So what do you, what do you recommend? I'll uh, oh, just go put for a little it. bit of the tomato here and mmm, that good? My gosh, mm. I gave him fifty bucks to moan like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wouldn't need a penny to moan like that. Thank that is you. fact. Thank you very much, guys. At Club Raymond members, you have to come to Table 26 to try this. What is it called? Our zucchini pasta with pesto sauce. Or try anything on the menu. This is fabulous. You're going to love it. Club Raymond members, Eddie here from Table 26. Danny Bayard, I'm going to let you guys go so I can complete this. Absolutely. Well, cheers. Cheers. To and good congratulations. Health. Thank you very much. Thank you. T table 26, tasty, healthy, optimistic. I haven't seen you moan that much since you got your receipt from that new 95 inch flat screen plasma set you purchased a few months ago. Well I'll tell you the food was absolutely fabulous and I did bring you some takeout oh, but great. Uh, unfortunately I took it to Lily my oh, wife. <laughs> we we I can't split get it a up that night. Show. You can't get a break and I understand that you were at some kind of eco-friendly dry cleaner? Eco-friendly dry cleaner down the block from table 26. Oh. The whole laundry game today, Danny, is totally different. The old-fashioned chemicals and all that are gone. It's new. It's eco-friendly. Uh, Ozo 2. Can't wait to see it. All right, let's roll it right now. Larry Podwell, Club Raymond Spotlight. We're on location. COVID compliance, so we can yeah. remove the masks. Unveil all things. Irina Rothenberg is our guest today, co-founder, Ozo 2 Eco friendly dry cleaners. We're in downtown West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having us. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much for visiting. Beautiful premises visiting. here. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate you visiting and uh, uh, we're very happy to greet you in our beautiful store. We, love we it. call it Spa for the Clothes. It's a spa for the clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, first eco friendly in the country. Maybe not in the country because California and New York, they're always okay. ahead of, um, you know, when it comes to. Uh, being eco-conscious, Californians are always ahead of us, I suppose. Maybe we'll change that, but we are definitely uh, among very first in the county and among very first in the state. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your operation here, Irina. We, uh, we came up with this idea in 2012. Mm -hmm. It took us a year to build this company. And um, the, the thought behind that was we want to make it very client-focused. We want to make it very... Um, eco-conscious. Mm -hmm. We don't want to use the same um, old traditional solvent that mm -hmm. most of the dry cleaners still use, which is toxic, uh, and we wanted to depart from that uh, from the beginning. Uh, and we also wanted to make it inviting, comfortable, so that people will feel like they're coming into a, into a service like, unlike, nothing different from a spa or salon, hair salon. Sure, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You walk in here and just mm -hmm. all the different accoutrements, so uh, <laughs> certainly not your, uh, not your, uh, your father's dry, dry cleaner no. by any stretch. <laughs> but uh, beautiful, yeah. two locations, mm -hmm. Palm Beach Gardens, along with, yeah. uh, we're here mm -hmm. downtown West Palm Beach, mm -hmm. and uh, you do a big delivery service. Throughout Palm Beach County. 
everywhere, whether you're in Boca, Wellington, Palm Beach Island, Jupiter, we even go to, uh, to Quester and Hope Sound for very special clients. I'm not going to tell you who they are. Very special clients. Could be Ron Brooks, <laughs> our director. The name is recognizable, just not allowed to say. Um, uh, so, that? so yeah, but that's a huge business and people love it. So service Convenient. throughout Palm Beach County. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the normal turnaround for a pickup? We and pick it up on Monday, we deliver on Thursday and vice versa. Excellent. And, you know, for busy people and people who don't want to be exposed traveling with COVID, mm -hmm. it's, it, there's been an uptick in that part of our business sure. significantly. The last six, seven months now within this quote unquote new norm, how has yeah. it affected business? Uh, uh, in our case, I think it saved us literally because uh when when the when the plug was pulled in in march you know in this past march uh i think a lot of dry cleaners went out of business because sure they just didn't have anybody coming into their locations we kept we didn't skip a beat we lost a lot of clients Unfortunately. they they just stopped wearing shirts That's, and uh, they stopped wearing office wear so right. uh we hope to get them back as maybe the country will be reopening who knows when but so that, that part of the business was uh, huge for us. So hopefully uh, we'll close out 2020. We have uh, reason to be optimistic 2021, get back to normalcy. People want to mm. get back to work. They want to dress. Yes. They want to put on their they uh, go out. size, go out. They want to go to restaurants, be messy, spill salad dressings. Spill dressing <laughs> this on. This is where we come in. A little in. marinara sauce and bring <laughs> it into Irene. Yes. So yes. excellent. <laughs> We usually do a little cars and coffee segment, so now a little cars and uh, suds, cars and dry clean. Yes. So uh, tell sure. us about your current uh, little uh, little baby from Bremen. Yeah, little baby. Uh, that was my first experience with Bremen, and I was all over the map. I, I had a Jaguar. I thought I was going to get another Jaguar. That was on my mind. And I literally went to, uh, to Bremen basically just to check it off my list, you know, done, and then focus on what I really thought I wanted. And the car, I wanted power, I wanted speed, I wanted pickup, I wanted styling, I wanted comfort, I wanted all of a sudden, it's everything, it's everything fantastic. that I want in a very good value package. Oh, that's amazing. It was just like impossible to walk away from that. Amazing vehicle. Mm -hmm. You can buy a BMW from virtually any BMW dealership in the country, whether yeah. you go there or not. But uh, uh, there is nothing in the country like Bremen Motor Cars, Stephen Grossman, Danny Bayard, the entire team. Mm -hmm. The purchase, the service after the fact, you become a member of Club Bremen. And we spun out this spotlight feature to engage uh, our customers and members just yeah. like you I'll and showcase <laughs> and. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. We'll get back to events hopefully soon, mm -hmm. but uh, we've been very happy with this and we're thrilled just to, uh, to have, uh, uh, to be here at uh, Ozo2. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for visiting us. Um, so happy, so happy. I think it will be very hard to go anywhere but Bremen. I mean, really. Uh, it, <laughs> like how do you like beat that hear. service? You can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the service, it's the personnel, yeah. the showrooms are amazing, mm -hmm. the convenience factor. Mm -hmm. and just uh, If you're concerned about the environment and you still need dry cleaning, which everybody does, this, is, this should be your new home. Ozo2, Irina, her amazing team will take great care of you. Mm -hmm. Again, two locations in the Palm Beaches, mm -hmm. West Palm Beach, Palm Beach yeah. Gardens. Yep. But home, pickup, office, your delivery, Deliver. countywide. Countywide. And I have to mention that some of the most popular services of ours are we do bed linens. People love the luxury of slipping into a beautiful, clean, ironed bed sheets. And we repair shoes and we clean rugs. And you name it, we do the alterations our our seamstress is a is a brilliant fantastic woman with gold hands and um we go way beyond dry cleaning so if anything fantastic. your wardrobe needs we do that i'm sure everybody in our viewing audience can utilize the services here mm -hmm. and uh you're going to be treated properly irena phenomenal uh beautiful environment all the amenities and uh specials for our Club Raymond members.
So yeah. thank you so much. My pleasure. All the thank very you. best. We got Thanksgiving coming up and the holidays right around the corner. Yeah. So let's just hope we get back to some kind of normalcy in 2021 and yeah. uh, bring you dry cleaning to Irena and company at uh, Ozo 2. Larry Podwell, Brayman Spotlight. We'll see you soon. All eco-friendly, an amazing setup, beautiful boutique. Irena and her personnel, they'll take great care of our Looks customers. Looks like a really smart operation. And it uh, really is, and uh, I'm going to make the switch. And by the way, they've flourished during COVID. Yeah. I noticed that. Done extremely well, and, and just lovely people. Larry, we've got a flashback for you from our uh, pre-COVID days. Okay, it's your favorites. That's coming up next, right after this. The year-end sales event is on now at Brayman Motor Cars. Get Black Friday savings all month long on every Brayman Motor Cars vehicle. Over a thousand vehicles on six indoor floors. BMW, Mini, Porsche, and pre-owned cars from economy to exotic. Drive with zero down and 0.9% financing, in-store or online, delivered right to your door. Get Black Friday savings all month long now at BraymanMotorCars.com, West Palm Beach and Jupiter. We're here at the Porsche West Palm Beach showroom, so if you hear some growling of engines, that's what that is. Larry, guess what? Pre-COVID, comedy nights, oh. comedy club that used to run at the Club Brayman Theater. Those were the absolute best. Some of the big name national comedians that came through our theater. It was just fantastic. It's and amazing. we're gonna bring it back next year. Three comedians a night. Of course, wine, champagne, food, food drinks, the whole works. Check this out, Loved you're it. gonna love it. As I told you, but even, even here's the thing, even my car is telling me to lose weight. When I put the address in the navigation to get here, it suggests that I walk. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready for a comedy show? Yeah. Hey, one more time, let's hear everybody at iHeart do Let's hear everybody at Great Motor for how much to do this. Give you guys a great show. All right, the next meeting on the stage, very funny gentleman. He's actually, he was opening for the late, great Richard Cheney for many years. You've seen him on Comedy Central. Put your hands together for Lenny Travis. Hey. Hear stuff from my married friends. I'm in the married guy club. Guy comes up to me another day. He goes, Lanny, my wife's not talking to me for a month. I go, that sucks. He goes, I know the month's almost over. <laughs> guy goes, Lanny, you're there watching TV, and my wife goes, pack your shit and get out of the house. So I pack my shit and I'm getting out of the house and she goes, I hope you die a slow, agonizing death. And I said, so you want me to stay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pretty smile. I love seeing women smile, man. Especially when you had teeth. Our teeth make the smile so pretty, man, when they're right next to each other. That's a beautiful shit. And the first thing I had to do when I went in the house was use the bathroom. And uh, that's where the cops found me. Sitting on the toilet with my pants to my ankles. I never felt so vulnerable in my life. Because the cop had a shotgun. I'm like, quick, quick, freeze! I went, Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Those were the days pre-COVID. Oh, uh, Danny, did we have fun? I'm telling you, at the that club, theater Brayman, was rocking, rocking. Everybody loved it. Wine, champagne, food, comedy. Coming back in 2021, stronger as than ever. As possible, stronger than ever.
Visit ClubRaymond.com to take the easy three-question quiz about this show to win one of 20 prizes. Danny, it's come to an end. Season one, Christmas tree is going up. We're going to be back in January. Season two of the Club Raymond Spotlight. Mm -hmm. We're hopeful to resume our amazing live events. So uh, we're looking forward to putting an end to 2020. Optimism for 2021. I'm going to hop into a trolley and I'm going to take Lily out to lunch now. <laughs> and also, speaking of Christmas trees going up, this is our season of giving. So we just got off a week of providing 200 meals for every test drive taken here at Bremen. And we've got our toy drive for kids coming up. So for every automobile sold, we're going to be donating plenty of toys for children. And get this, our goal this year, Larry, 10,000 toys for kids. That's fantastic. It's a fabulous goal. Beautiful event every year and nothing better to wrap up the year to take care of the kids. Happy holidays from Club Raymond Spotlight. Thanks for joining in. Uh, we love you. We'll see you on the outtake. Happy holidays. When we undo the pause button. Uh, Danny, we'll see you soon. Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio. Danny Bayard from Club Raymond Spotlight.